Electronics yield enormous power, a power that will give significant advantages to communities that manage to continue mastering it. If a global collapse occurs, we will not be able to create new electronic technology as fast as we did without a good starter kit to help us do so. This is the Digital Prepper, and today I'm going to talk about Collapse OS, how it relates to a possible grid down scenario, and how it can be used to potentially rebuild a community even after a global collapse. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you do like the video and want to discuss anything regarding digital preparedness or just preparedness in general, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to see more like this. With that being said, let's get started. Now, before we talk about Collapse OS, let's talk about why some people believe that a collapse is an imminent threat to us. Now, just as a disclaimer, what I'm about to say does not necessarily reflect my own views on this. People that believe in inevitable collapse are often portrayed as alarmists by other people who say that our civilization can easily absorb short-term effects of climate changes and that the very difficult effects of it will only show themselves in about 50-ish years. Researchers believe that in 2019, we have passed peak oil production, and they believe this is because most of the easy fracking spots have been spent. Because the pandemic is expected to affect demand for oil for a long while, this can only mean a drastic increase in energy price, which a lot of places have currently been seeing. The price of energy will then be way above what the economy can support, and this will create another economic crisis. This, combined with further climate catastrophes that we've been seeing, makes people believe in the inevitability of collapse. So from my research, people think that there are two important stages of collapse. The first one is when the global supply chain is broken, and the second one is when the last modern computer dies. If there were to be a collapse, we would not be able to produce most of our electronics because their production depends on a very complex supply chain that we most likely won't be able to achieve again for a long time afterwards. Now, some people will say that technology and electronics have evolved rapidly without any help before, so why wouldn't it happen again after a collapse? Well. People think that it has to do with energy. These technological breakthroughs happened in a context of cheap energy, which we're mainly talking about oil. With this energy not able to be produced on a massive scale due to collapse, we will have less energy to divert to scientific advancement, so we'll basically stagnate. And after a collapse, most of our infrastructure will probably either be destroyed or unusable. So with all of that out of the way, what is Collapse OS? Collapse OS is an operating system and a collection of tools and documentation built on a programming language called Forth. This has a single purpose, which is to preserve the ability to program microcontrollers through civilizational collapse. With a copy of this operating system and the instructions, a capable and creative person would be able to build and install Collapse OS without any external resources like the internet built on a machine from scavenged parts with low-tech tools. To put it simply, a person with technical knowledge would be able to, after a total collapse, be able to scavenge parts like circuit boards and processors from things like cell phones or even old gaming consoles, solder all of these together to create a computer. Now, if you are technically inclined, you might be asking yourself, what is the advantage of this over something like, let's say, a Raspberry Pi, an Arduino, or even a normal computer after a total grid down scenario? Well, the answer is that there is no advantage that Collapse OS has over those. The problem with the Raspberry Pis or the Arduinos or the normal computers is that your ability to repair them with something like a soldering iron is limited. You also can't build a new one. 
Once they are broken, they are essentially broken forever. Again, Collapse OS is a system that can be designed from scavenged parts and programmable microcontrollers. Now, many people doubt that computers will even stay relevant after a civilizational collapse. The drastic simplification of our society after that sort of collapse would mean that we have a lot less information to manage. We would also be busy with other activities rather than doing things like processing data. However, the goal of Collapse OS is not just to save computing, but electronics as a whole. Managing electricity and having technology can be immensely useful after a civilizational collapse. For example, even with something as simple as a small programmable computer, a relay switch, and a temperature sensor, you could create a simple climate control system that can switch on and off fans based on temperature. Alternatively, it could adjust the airflow allowed to go into a particular room. You could use something like this to build a greenhouse that can be semi-automated, possibly powered by solar power. You could also possibly use this to extract text from storage media, as well as many other projects that this can be applied towards. To wrap things up, a question in most of your minds right now is probably wouldn't there be more important things to do than play with an operating system after a civilizational collapse? Well, yes, there would be a ton of projects that would be vastly more important than looking at Collapse OS. However, this does not mean that it's useless. In the beginnings of this kind of scenario, when you look at survival from an individualistic point of view, this mentality is true. I wouldn't waste time with Collapse OS, I would worry about your own survival first. However, when you look at it long term, from a communal perspective, Collapse OS makes sense. And it would be a great asset to preppers who have these files saved somewhere. Once a community takes care of their immediate survival, and they're looking at going from surviving to thriving, if they have something like Collapse OS, and also someone who can make sense of it, then that community would have a great asset. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to Collapse OS in the description. I would definitely recommend keeping this and the instructions in your digital stores. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to get more videos like this that will help you with your digital preparedness. If you have any ideas for more videos or just want to share your experiences with prepping, please leave a comment down below. Stay safe, stay prepared, more digital prepping to come.